let us continue over here so the next thing that we will be doing is we will be adding a create update and delete right so we will create a void function over here and that will be of um, create employee and uh, that will be of one function and we have we'll have to create another function over here void to update employee function and then we have a one more to delete right uh, void and that will be to delete the employee over here and also i think we have to get a single employee so that will be i think on the top over here let's say a void and to get single employee over here and i think it will take a parameter of int of id i think so that should be the one and when we create it so if you go to the add employee we need to pass the employee companion right so let's go over here and when we create it we need the e m p l o y e employee companion and that should be of the let's call it as a e n t r t y entity and when we update it so if we go to edit and when we update it we are passing the uh, how we are calling the delete that is and where is the update so this is the so we still need the employee companion over here so let's go back to our notifier and here we still need the employee companion right sorry e m p l y employee companion and we'll set it to entity over here so e n t i t y entity and delete will probably take the int of the id so if we go to the edit employee right so add employee is taking the companion and, and then we have our we have an employee companion delete will take the, the the id right and get employee we also need to pass in the um, tv the edit and context get employee and pass the id so that should be fine so we need all of this function again so we have underscore db dot and we need to call the um, get the employee function right and pass in the id that we have dot then uh, we will just call it and then when we have a value let me create a function and dot on error we will call it again so let's create a function and then we will finally call the notify listener so here we will when we get the value we will set it to um, we need to have a currently we don't have any employee we are getting the value as the employee data over here so let us create a single employee data so emp employee data right so emp l emp so em emp l o y employee data that we have and we will have on the score of the employee data and i think the this will be of a nullable type first of all and then we will just go and create uh, let me duplicate i think employee employee data that will be we will be setting a getter to employee emp y employee data and then getter will be from the employee data that we have okay so this can be also should be of a nullable type so once we get that and we will just set underscore the employee data is of equals to the value that we are getting and then on here we will just have to set the underscore error message that we are getting so p of the error that we have dot to string that let's convert it to the string and this should not be of 
this is a nullable type so we have to check it okay so we got that uh, set up the single one and then we have to set up for our create employee right so underscore app db that we have and dot we will just call the insert right so we need to insert the employee and we'll pass in the entity that then we get the value once we get the value and then we again have dot on error we get the error let's create implement the function and then close it over here and then finally we'll call it as a notify listener over here and once we get the value this is an int value and the error let us implement first underscore error that we have will be of equals to the error dot to string that we'll set up and we need the in value so how do we get the in value is i will just add another int and, and then we will just call it as a uh, added or we can just call it as a underscore added added is equals to zero right and then we will have an int and set the added which is uh, we will have to set a getter right so get added which is of uh, get the value from underscore added over here okay so once we get then we will just implement over here underscore added which will be of equals to the value that we are getting okay so once we get that one the next thing is that we need to update so update we have a app underscore app sorry underscore app db and check and we have to call the update sorry dot the update employee and pass in the nt call the then function again and just implement the function and again dot on error we'll call and once we have this error we will implement it underscore error it should be of equal to the error dot uh, to a string convert it to a string and that should be fine and let's call now the notify listener over here so make sure you call the notify listener otherwise it will not get updated in our ui so once we get the value we again get the boolean over here so let's uh let us add the over here we need to add the boolean value so this since this is a boolean so let us check out the condition that we how we can implement it we will create a new boolean variable so bool and this will be for the each updated up d a t e d it's updated and default uh, let's set it as a false and i will just call again the bool variable and i think this should be underscore we don't want to expose it and here we will just say the bool get the um, each updated which we will get it from the underscore each updated so now here we will get a boolean value underscore each updated will be the value that we are getting right so here we are getting a boolean value so i think that should be fine and now delete it right so we need to implement that one app uh, app uh, db that we have dot we will call the delete the employee and pass in the id and dot then and we once we have we'll implement the function dot uh, on error we will call it so once we have the error then we want to set the error message and then we will notify the listener over here and we will have to set this one as the underscore error error that message we get error dot to string right so we need to set up that one and this value we are getting an int right so we will again go and is deleted so i think i'll just copy this and paste it below and yeah i think we'll set this this one as the underscore each deleted and we'll say it's 
deleted it should be of underscore each deleted okay so once we have uh, is deleted mm, this is an int value so how we can convert it to the bool value is underscore each is deleted it's equals to value and if it is equals equals to one then we will set it as a true otherwise we will set it as a false so which we are saying that the value that we are getting if it's equals to the one then set the delete value to true otherwise they set it to the false and also for the added i think we can actually set it as a bool variable so i think that should be much better to implement in the ui instead of the the, the integer value right so i think we'll set it to each added over here and this one will be of a each added and this one will be underscore each added so now in the the added where is that create right so here each added it should be each added it is a int value so we need to convert it if the value is you know, greater than equals to one then we will set it to true which means that it has been added otherwise it's a false so it should be underscore right so the value is will be um it is an inserted row number so if it can be one or it can be greater than one right so if that is the case then we'll set it true otherwise we will set it to the false i think that's all for the we have the the future stream we have the uh, single entry to get the employee uh, we have create update and delete right so we have a read code operation set up already in our uh, employee change notifier over here so we just need to implement this one in our um, let's do it in the next uh, next video so we need to change our provider over here i will give you as a homework if you can actually go and implement the change notifier over here let's meet up in the next one till then have a great day